TubeSafe. It's a file server that we can self-host and we can upload pictures of cats, any sort of documents, images, files, whatever, straight to it. It's all self-hosted by us. And they also have an awesome extension, a uh, Chrome extension that you can right click an image or whatever you want. And you can send it straight to your TubeSafe. Go to it. There it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this all set up yourself. Welcome back to another video everyone. In this video we are looking at ChibiSafe. It is a file server that we will self-host and we will be self-hosting it using Docker. I'm going to take you through the entire process. So what we're going to do first is we'll just have a look at the ChibiSafe that I have up and running, the features that it has, what we can upload, how it works and everything like that. And then I'll take you through the install process. Just quickly before we jump to the install process, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for all the support lately. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask below in the comments or jump into the Discord server. A link to that will be in the description. Let's get right into it. So this is ChibiSafe. So what it allows us to do is it upload anything to our server that wherever we're running it, right? So it's not just pictures. You can see here that it's got a whole bunch of flexibility here. We can just send any sort of document that we want. So for example, I'm going to upload a document. So it's we've got here on the right hand side, it says drop files. We can click here. So I'm going to click there and I'll upload something. So I've just uploaded a basic main.py file, it's just a Python file, and it gives you a link straight away. So if I click on the link, if it's an image, it will actually open up the image for you, but in this case it's a Python file, so if I click link, it will just download it. So if I actually go to the dashboard where this file is, we can see we have a shareable link. So we can just give this, if someone's requiring a file or whatever, we can upload it to our uh, file server, give someone that link and then they can download it. It's the same for pictures, so these pictures of cats that I have uh, that I've been using as examples. In this case, if we shared this link, so let's say I've shared it, someone clicks it, it will just take them to the uh, location of the file via, via the link and then they can download it if they like. And again, it's not just restricted to pictures or anything like that, this can be any sort of file that it allows you to share. Now, albums itself, it might seem like, you know, picture albums and stuff like that. That's not actually the case. It's just a way to organize your files. So here I could have this one for anything um, tech related, right? So that there, if I had any Docker files or whatever like that, I could upload them to there. And the way that works is that here, if I'm going to upload something, I can go select the album. I want that to go into to the tech related and let's upload another file. Right, so I've just uploaded another file, so that's called settings.py. Now if we go to dashboard again, and we go to albums, we can see tech related, go into there, and we can see that's exactly where that settings.py file has gone. So what ChibiSafe is allowing us to do is just allowing us a central location that we are self-hosting where we can upload files, and we can even give people access to it as well. So we've got our one account, but we can create users and allow other people to log in here as well, and to upload files as well. So it can be a, if it's for home use, it could just be a central home file server, or if you're running a small business or whatever like that, that's another way that you can just allow people to upload files as well. If you're interested in making ChibiSafe public, uh, so people can just log in, you know, not needing a VPN or anything like that, then you could use something like Cloudflare. I'll have a link to a video in the top corner somewhere, and you can check that out. Uh, and that will kind of show you how you can expose your service that you're self-hosting uh, to the internet while having it all uh, SSL encrypted and everything like that, and you don't have to open ports. And another really cool feature about ChibiSafe is that if you want, you know, you find an image of whatever, uh, let's say a Persian cat, these cats look, well, that's one angry cat. If I right click here, I can actually send it straight to the safe, right? So if I click send to safe and go back to uh, ChibiSafe, we can see it instantly gets uploaded and also when you do that you also get a link straight away to your clipboard for that so it's a good way to share images and that um, to friends and whatever as well so there's a bunch of things that you can do you can also upload you know code snippets or just anything that you want that you want to save here so documents snippets it's great uh, and it's it just you know it's not doing a whole lot of stuff but and it's just keeping the scope simple which makes it also great at the same time there's a few other things you can do here if you do make it public you don't want certain people you know ip addresses accessing it you know you can ban them here and you can also you know create invites as well so if i wanted to invite uh, i can grab that and there's the invite code so i've just created a basic account for example hit create account just like that so now they have access to your chibi uh vault 
And just before we go to how we can install, get this all installed, uh, I just wanted to show you that you can also come into settings here and customization. And this is where you can change, you know, the the name. So I could call this like tech docs, uh, files, and you can change the background image, the logo image. So it's not the uh, image of the safe. Give it a bit of a description. So like tech docs, files, hello, whatever, uh, Twitter handle and the domain if you want it. And I'm going to hit save settings. So if I come back here and click home, you can see it now says tech docs files, right? So you, you can get that kind of customization so you don't have to um, have it called change me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so let's get into how you can get this installed. Right, so we're on my server now where we're going to be installing ChibiSafe using Docker Compose. Now all the documentation for this, there'll be a link in the description to my docs website, which will have the Compose file as well as a explanation and a breakdown of the Compose file and all the necessary steps that I'm going to cover as well. So make sure to check that out to grab the Compose file. So I do have the Compose file here. So if I go into the Compose file, we'll just have a quick look at it. So you can see here that uh, Pretty straightforward, right? So we're using the image and we're, we're going to pull down the latest image. The container name is going to be called Chibi Safe. And we are going to need three folders that we're going to have to create in this directory. We're going to need a database, uploads, and logs. And then they're going to be attached to the container itself. And we're going to access Chibi Safe on port 24424. And then we're all good. Uh, more of a breakdown and explanation on each um, bit of lot. Each line here will be broken down in the uh, document uh, website on the page for this. So if you're keen to learn more, it will all be explained there. So again, what we need to do is we need to create those three folders. Now, these three folders here, we need to actually make them first uh, and not let Docker make them. Now, if Docker, if we run this without these folders existing, the database uploads and logs, Docker will make them for us and then they'll be owned by root. And then if the container is not run by root, but the, the, the folders that it's using, database uploads and logs, is owned by root, you're going to get file permissions. So we're going to make these manually first, and then so they're owned by our user, and then there'll be no file permissions. So let's make these files first. So we'll make directory, database, make directory, logs, and make directory, uploads. And then we can just confirm that's what we needed. Database, yep. Uploads, yep, logs. Cool, we've got those there. So all we need to do now is do docker compose up hyphen D. Each of these commands are explained in the documentation and we'll hit enter. And this is now stood up ChibiSafe. So what we can do is now we can actually access ChibiSafe via that port, which was 24424. So this is the one that I had up and running. I'm gonna refresh it now because all of this would have been removed. So I'm gonna refresh it. And it's taken us to the main page to log in. So I'm going to do a username, which is admin. By default, this will be the same for you. And password is also admin. Make sure to change that once you get all set up. And we can hit enter and we're in. So the, the last thing to really cover to make sure you're all set up is that file extension if you are using Chrome. So the, this extension here is the ChibiSafe uploader. Uh, so if you wanna use this, you can add it to Chrome. And then you're going to have to come to your extensions and then you're going to want to go to options and it needs an api key here and i'll show you where you can find that and also the domain name so if you're going to publish this over like cloudflare or whatever however you're going to make it public that's where the name needs to be and then the way it's going to authenticate is with the key you provided so to grab that key what we need to do is go to credentials scroll down and there's api key and there we go it made us one so i'm going to copy that api key Go back to where is that, uh, there it is. We're going to put that key in there. It's going to clean up some of these tabs real quick. And there we are. So now we've got our uh, new Chibi Safe uploaded. So there's nothing here. So if we just look up cats, for example, and uh, let's grab this one. And Chibi Safe, send a safe, come back here. Straight away, it's been uploaded. So that, that's Chibi Safe. And again, it's not just for images and it's not just for pictures of cats and stuff like that. It's a file server that you can self-host for any sort of documentation and it gives you shareable links you can invite users to this you can have code snippets tags all of that good stuff so that's chibi safe right it's it's pretty straightforward it's pretty self-explanatory for what it does it's a file server you upload files to it and it's a way that you can provide access to them as well via users and shareable links um 
any questions, if you're wondering more about how you can make this public and stuff using Cloudflare, uh, there's that video, but also jump into the comments or the Discord server and I'll be more than happy to help you um, and any other questions you have. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. If you've made it this far, please make sure to like and subscribe. It would be awesome. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so that's going to be great when we get there. Um, but yeah, thank you for all the support and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.